Hey, what's going on guys? Ivan is here and today we're gonna be taking a look at the quick overview of the uh, joystick and sliders plugin and uh, what we're gonna be creating today is a blinking stage. We're gonna be looking at controlling the uh, eye pupil and we're gonna be doing some uh, uh, lip sync. Just a basic one, but it's gonna help you to get started. All right, so what we are having here, we have a bunch of characters over here that are already animated except for this one over here. And let me quickly show you what's going on here. So uh, they're all saying this phrase, hi Cleo. Hi Cleo. Uh, I'm gonna just turn off the sound over here for now. And uh, what you see, we have uh, all of them, they have pretty similar structure of what they're doing. Uh, they have some uh, lip sync, they have uh, some blinking going on and just basic movement. And we're not gonna dig into movement right now because there's just a uh, uh, just the basic uh, wiggle uh, expression for the body and the rest of the stuff. Uh, okay, so uh, we're gonna start with the Liam over here, which is our line character. Uh, so uh, where should we start? First of all, we're gonna start with lips. We have a few poses over here. So this is the neutral pose. This is the smile pose and the rest of them. I'm gonna start with the smile pose because that has uh, it has the widest range over here. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, uh, leave all attributes in the composition. Uh, we have now this, uh, this pose in a separate comp. comp. We're gonna go back here. I'm gonna select the rest of the poses. I'm gonna hit Control X to uh, cut them off and I'm gonna place them here. Now you're not gonna see them here because they're placed in a position that they had in the previous comp. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control Home uh, to move them in one place. Now uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit uh, Out and uh, Close in bracket to cut all my layers into one frame. Uh, this is my first pose, I believe, in the neutral one, yes. And the rest, I'm gonna just distribute them like so. Here we go. I'm gonna press N to close my work area. I'm just gonna trim the whole comb to the work area. And we have this basic lip sync happening. Uh, let's go ahead, let me actually turn on the uh, keystroke visualizer. So you guys gonna see also what I'm pressing. Uh, let's go back to the Liam comp. Uh, in my lips pre comp, I'm gonna go ahead and enable time remap. I'm gonna go here on the last but one frame and just add a keyframe. I'm gonna delete my last one and move this one over here on the second frame. Now I'm gonna highlight both of them. Go in the joystick and sliders to the slider uh, UI and hit over here create new slider now. I'm gonna name it Mo. Actually, let's yeah, yeah let's let's keep it Mo. All right, here we go. Uh, and let's actually create a UI for it. So I'm gonna select my uh, mouth now. Usually, it, uh, not usually, but originally it creates initially the just the now object. You can control it from the now as well, but uh, for some things it's better to use UI representation. Uh, let's go ahead, select it, and just create. A UI slider here it is you know you want to drag it over here by this time frame and the whole thing is gonna move as well uh, I'm gonna just name it mouth control all right and uh, by clicking on the handle I want to turn off the negative value so it doesn't go over there so we're just working here and as you can see the mouth rig is pretty much ready we can now talk uh, what I want to do is actually look at the uh, waveform over here and just see where we are starting to talk. Just roughly over here, I'm going to place the marker here and somewhere in the end I'm going to place the marker over here. I already have some markers actually. Alright, uh, so we have markers where we want to talk and uh, let's go ahead and animate them. So I'm going to select my slider control. Uh, and just gonna hit P for position. Uh, if it's a horizontal slider, you wanna animate uh, X position. If that's the vertical slider, you can uncheck and check it here. I'm gonna want to animate the Y position. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and animate the first position. Uh, roughly, I believe there's like 20 frames. Yes, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five frames forward using page down. And uh, I'm gonna hit what? I believe 25 is an X pose, yes. And then I'm gonna go uh, not 10 frames, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames, I'm gonna hit 50, 
uh, I'm gonna go one two three four five I'm gonna hit 75 and one two three four five I'm gonna hit a hundred yes and then one two three four five let's go back to zero and let's take a look what we have and now he's actually t kind of talking right uh, here I want to go not for 100 but 125 that's my fifth fifth position here we go just like that all right so uh, we're done with the basic mouth control and now let's go ahead and move to the eyes I have my eyes uh, layers over here uh, here I have just a reference of how they should be looked when they're closed uh, so that's fine I'm just gonna switch them off uh, and my eyes are as one layer and I don't want that because I want to control the pupil so uh, what I want to do is actually uh, to convert them to the shape layer I'm using motion tools too I'm hitting convert to shape but you can go ahead and do create create shapes from uh, from a vector layer but I'm just gonna hit it over here and uh, let's just focus on the eyes and the eyebrows just like that all right so uh, you can see I have this shape over here right and left eye and uh, you can see that we are out of the boundary over here uh, what I want to do is just work on some groups over here so I have this is my let's just name it as it is uh, border and this is the right one so I'm gonna use R now I believe these three groups are the eye pupil so pupil right and now this is gonna be my white right beautiful and uh, I want to do the same stuff over here so this is my border left here I want to go and group them into pupil and the last one oh, I'm sorry I'm not gonna group it but I'm just gonna rename it white left and pupil I'm gonna also put left all right so now they're in group now I want to extract them uh, what you can do if you don't have the motion tools you can just make for this instance left eye three copies one two three uh, open groups in all of them and for instance this is gonna be my order I'm deleting border I'm deleting these two this is gonna be my pupil I'm deleting these two this is gonna be my white I'm deleting these two and uh, now I have all three of them separated but uh, I highly suggest you purchasing this uh, motion tools too uh, what you can do just do it in one click like this and the names are there of the groups as well and that's what I'm gonna do just to speed up your process guys all right uh, for the pupils for both of them I want to add a set matte effect uh, I want to place I want to set the masks so when I'm moving my eye it doesn't go beyond the border uh, same over here I'm gonna using set mat uh, adding them to the left over here by the way I'm using this uh, window over here control space that's a, a free plugin from video copilot uh, called FX console instead of searching effects over here just very handy to search it anywhere you want uh, okay uh, now we're gonna animate those pupils uh, so uh, the way joystick and actually joystick work uh, because it's two of them joystick and sliders that's the name of the plugin so uh, with me we need high we need five base poses so what I'm gonna do is actually place this thing the eyes somewhere like this so it's kind of the origin pose the middle pose uh, and I'm gonna use just a simple position over here so P for position uh, at a keyframe uh, now if I'm gonna add the, if I want to try to add the joystick right now it's gonna give me a warning that no properties were selected and this is what you need to do you need to place uh, first keyframe which is origin at zero and then right left up down okay this is just a hint so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna actually place uh, go five frames and put origin everywhere it's just gonna create the first frame where we are and then let's go ahead and add the right pose Maybe a little too far now the left pose now the up looking pose and the down looking pose that's perfect now I'm gonna select all these keyframes and just go ahead and create a new joystick let's call it uh, I control hit OK now we're having 
And now object that allows me to control the eyes. As simple as it is guys. Perfect. Let's go ahead and jump to the next step. What we want to do now is to add the blinking pose. In order for me to do so, I want to take my pupils and link them to the whites where they belong. The reason for that is I'm going to animate uh, the whites uh, scale. And for them, I want to select the anchor point and move them somewhere here. Just like this that works fine let's select both of them and uh, okay let's go ahead and select all that we need now uh, we'll need position of the eyebrows let's add position position now we'll need scale over here scale scale and I want to uncheck them so they're not binded both of the values uh, Pupils are connected to white, that is fine. And borders, here we are, borders. In, for borders, actually, we're gonna uh, use path. We're gonna affect the shape itself at the first frame. And um, I believe that's it. Let's move one frame forward and do our magic. First of all, I wanna reduce the uh, white scale to uh, let's say 1% see where we actually blinking right over here so to have a visual reference for now I'm gonna select my border go ahead and select G for the shapes and let's do a little draw wing something like this this goes lower and I'm gonna just uh, yes remove my bezier path beautiful do the same for the right path i'm gonna select one key over here i'm gonna select the key over here just center them a little bit and a little closer and move these two keyframes somewhere like that just to have a little deep <laughs> okay uh now control alt click over here just close them nicely maybe place it a little bit lower this is a little bit higher yes i believe that works superb now let's go ahead and take the eyebrows and i'm just gonna move them down over here like so this one probably goes even here this one a bit over here uh, and actually I want to add rotation to both of them so I'm gonna uh, select both of them uh, click shift R actually B and now shift R and I want to just add a basic rotation just a bit, little bit yes beautiful <laughs> okay here we go uh, now so this is the basic of the uh, how you want to add your uh, eye movement and how you want to make it close I'm gonna go ahead and add one extra kind of uh, step right now uh, extra hard step to say so I'm gonna select P I'm just gonna use this color over here and just add the basic lashes I'm, I'm just gonna draw a new uh, figure probably this is too much probably three is fine yes and stroke yeah that's not gonna be filled it's gonna be stroke something like this uh, then I'm gonna add something like this and no not the new one goes like so and one more I'm gonna add right here beautiful so I have also my eyelashes now this is an extra step that we're gonna be using today just for you to understand how uh, we can do it in a more detailed way so this is gonna be lashes right and I'm gonna just duplicate it and place it over here yeah that's fine about the border they're same uh, they're same color so it's fine this is gonna be left 
and I want to move it here and I want to reflect it flip horizontal just flew away a little bit and suddenly I can't move it I don't know why <laughs> transform flip horizontal okay some kind of lag and just adjust it a little bit a bit of a different shape <laughs> all right beautiful so now I want to add closing movement to those lashes too so uh, I'm gonna go in the path and animate all of the path options that I have so lashes so lashes right and left three of them three lashes three path so uh, here we are let's start let's start here okay I actually want to select all of them and first I'm gonna just drag and move them over here now that's what I want to do now I'm just gonna shape them basically kind of in the same way that they were and uh, let's go over here I'm gonna select all of them too place them here okay let's make this one over here this is the smallest one and this is the longest one beautiful yeah that's nice all right now let's go ahead and create okay, I'm gonna just hit you so I can see my animated frames I'm gonna select all of them so I have two frames when they're closing and uh, in order for me to check if everything works fine I'm just gonna make space in between and I'm just gonna look through it's basically frame by frame here we go it looks fine to a certain moment over here kind of a very last moment so what I want to do is make both of these shapes lower so I want to go ahead and place them lower and see if that helps yes that's definitely helping I'm gonna place them even more and even more yes that's definitely that definitely worked and uh, I wanna move my eyelashes down as well let's check if everything works fine beautiful now I want to fix the same stuff over here so I'm gonna use my border I'm just gonna move it down see if that helped yes problem solved and I want to select my eyelashes and just move them down a little bit beautiful now I'm gonna move I'm gonna have one and first and second frame which is eyes open eye closed I'm gonna go to the joystick to the sliders I'm gonna hit create new sliders and that's gonna be blink hit ok now uh, since originally it's creating just a null object for the controller and for particularly for the blink I'm, I'm never using the uh, visual UI slider doesn't make sense for me because it's just a slider and you can animate it so let's go 10 frames uh, now add a first keyframe now one two three for instance three frames is when we are completely eye closed and one two three we're completely eye opened all right now okay I went a little forward now let's take a look okay, this is eye closed okay this is this should be eye opened zero and now we have our beautiful seamless blinking composition ready now what I want to do let's add just the easing on them move them probably here and I want to add a first keyframe over here and uh, hit out click and just loop out the whole thing because I'm gonna be using this comp more 
in the further part of the movie so uh, and we're just gonna have this looped blinking comp ready all right guys so uh here we are we have our lion talking right now and we have him blinking so uh great job everybody so uh, you just want to kind of reposition your sliders uh by the control it here we go so you got the idea of how it works everything is very basic for slider you just set the pose one pose two and you just kind of interpolate between them uh, for joystick you need five poses and uh, probably we're gonna do one more tutorial on how to rig the head proper head movement so you kind of have the same slider and whenever you, wherever you rotate it your head goes along uh, but for now i think that's a good start thanks everybody for watching and 